All right, all my SoundCloud rappers, I am talking to you today. Let's talk about when is the proper time to go from SoundCloud to other streaming platforms. Let's talk about it. What's going on? It's Pimp Fried Rice, and welcome to the Music Into Millions podcast. Thank you again for joining me. Thank you for listening on YouTube, if that's where you listen. Thank you for listening on different podcast streaming uh, platforms, if that's where you're listening. Um, either way, regardless of where you are listening, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you can check us out whenever we drop new content. We have plenty of great stuff for artists who are trying to be successful without a record label and do it on their own time. Nope. I'm kicking stuff and knocking stuff over. Look at that. All right. <clears throat> so, like I said, today we're going to be talking about when's the right time to go from SoundCloud to other streaming platforms and kind of go away from the whole, you know, free releasing music to actually getting some money off of our music and turning it into a career, which is something we talk about frequently on this channel. Um, so basically, the there's only really two criteria, in my opinion, that you need to have before you can uh, start going onto streaming platforms. And number one is you need to have original music. And now original music doesn't just mean the lyrics that you're putting, it also means the beats that you're using as well. Um, so if you're still getting beats off of YouTube, or if you're getting beats off of SoundCloud, or other places where they're technically just like free beats that you can download, a lot of times, unless it's specified by the producer, you are not able to upload that beat to streaming platforms because you can't monetize it and you can't make money off that type of song unless the beat is labeled for profit use. Um, so a lot of time that's when rappers will just you know post it on SoundCloud, that way they can just get the song out there, which that's perfectly fine. I still, you know, advocate for doing that. Don't, just because you put your songs out on streaming platforms, don't stop using SoundCloud. It's still a great, you know, outlet. There's still, it's massive people that really just like to stick to listening on SoundCloud. So don't, like, c completely neglect it once you move on. Just realize that instead of just staying on SoundCloud all the time, we're going to move and branch beyond that. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing, is just if you have original music. So original lyrics, original beats, um, everything is yours and you own it because then you're able to put it on streaming platforms without, you know, any consequences of it getting copyright striked or it just being taken down because the producer, you know, rejects the beat from you or whatever. You don't want to run into issues like that, so that's number one. And honestly, the second thing is just you need to be signed up with a distribution company. And a distribution company is essentially just the platform um, that you upload your music to, and then they actually send it out to like Spotify, Amazon Music, Tidal, Apple Music, all the different streaming platforms, so that way you don't have to worry about it. Um, I have another video, which I'll actually link in the description, uh, that talked about distribution companies a little bit more in detail. I'm not going to go super in-depth into them today, but I am going to let you know um, I personally use DistroKid for mine. And if you're not signed up for a distribution company, I have a little bit of a discount I can give you if you do want to sign up with DistroKid. I'll leave that link below. You'll get 7% off of your first year. Um, and then I'll get a little bit of kickback as well. So we'll both win in that scenario. But yeah, so all you have to do is have original music and you have to be signed up with a distribution company. And you can go from being a SoundCloud rapper to start putting your music everywhere. And now... Once you start putting your music everywhere, like I said, don't neglect SoundCloud because there's still the lane for it there. Just realize it's time to move beyond just being in SoundCloud. And one last thing I do want to talk about, um, it's related to SoundCloud, and I'm going to be completely honest, I don't know everything on this topic yet, and I do want to do a little bit more research on my own before I do a full episode about it, but you can monetize off of SoundCloud. And a lot of rappers either don't know this or they don't take advantage of this, and it's essentially the same way, from what I understand, that you would collect money off like YouTube and it's by basically doing ads. So like if an ad plays before your song or after your song and somebody sticks around and they listen to it, then you get however many cents based off of that. But yeah, start to look into you, um, I'm sorry, SoundCloud monetization. Like I said, I'm going to do a little bit more research because I just learned about this myself. Um, I'm gonna. I plan on doing a full episode about it. That way, I can give you guys as much information as possible. Um, but yeah, make sure we move beyond being just SoundCloud rappers. Start to move towards turning this into your career. Like I say all the time, let's stop making it just a hobby and stop putting out music just for fun. Let's do it as our career. Have a great rest of your day. Make sure you're uploading on all streaming platforms and SoundCloud. Talk to you later. <laughs>
Thank you.